Today on Offbeat, this guy is with us. Plus, we'll be joining and hitting the red carpet at Crown Casino for the million dollar lunch. And of course, all the great things there with the interviews and so on. It's Offbeat and it's Wednesday and we start now. Welcome to Offbeat Wednesdays, I'm Emily Hattie. And I'm Jake Freeman and welcome to the show yet for another episode and we want you to get involved and help us with the hashtag make live TV and support local community TV all around. Right now let's introduce our guest Anthony McCormack is one of the three, one of the third team members of RMI TV's show, own show The Leak and hosts a hilarious podcast called o Movie Autopsy. Welcome to Offbeat. Good to thank see you. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Anthony, let's go to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Where, at what point in your life did you say, I want to be a film critic? Oh, well, I mean, doesn't every child yeah. dream yeah. of that kind of thing? Well, it's because it's the movies that I grew up on terrified me as a, as a kid. And it's only now that you go back to them and you yeah. see the strings. You see how, but, you know, so I go now and I, I think I'm searching for the, the terror again. Is there any, anything <laughs> specific that really, like, really scarred you? Well, because I, I remember, like, my sisters, I have older sisters, and they'd go and see movies like Kindergarten Cop, <laughs> which is very, very funny, and it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's shooting bad guys, and he, you know, but they don't let little tiny Anthony in. It's not a do it's not a Duma, a Duma. You know the movie I'm yes. talking about. So, Duma. but meanwhile, like, all the G-rated movies, because uh, you can't sort of slip in violence and, and, and nudity and, and drugs and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, yeah, they're kind of frowned upon in G-rated. Yeah, so there was a time and place where they were like, let's just put in really freaky, freaky, terrible, horrible people's skin coming off. There's a Keanu Reeves movie where he pulls off his face and he's a robot underneath and it was like G-rated. What film's that? <laughs> Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, which is actually quite a fun movie. It's the second uh, one. It's the uh, sequel. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll, look, I'll have to look that up. Yeah, now, oh, you will, yeah. Now, movie autopsy. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, how did it start? So, well, it's my good friend Paul, because I was doing uh, movie reviews for the radio, uh, and my good friend Paul was coming along, because you, you get these tickets and you say, oh, who wants to come see a movie with me? This is suddenly, Paul you, suddenly you got a lot of good friends, don't so, you? <laughs> well, well, this is the thing, is that they start tapering off. When, when they can have it any time they want it, yeah. they say, oh, well, I don't think I'll come to this one, I'll come to the next one. So Paul comes into the picture and says, I want to come to all of them. And I want to talk, with, we'd come out and we'd have debates and, and he'd say, this needs to go somewhere. People need to hear this. And I said, do they? Do they really? And he said, yes. And, and we did a podcast out of it and people seem to enjoy it. So knock on wood. Yeah, it's there great. You. And because I do film reviews as well, we see each other on the scene a lot. We do, the yeah, yeah. And always good to bump into each other and talk about films and what we liked and didn't like. What's the worst thing? Um, you could critique about a film. What's the worst thing you've actually said about a film in particular that really got you, that you really had to Ooh, say something? we're really getting down to oh. the negatives here. You know, I, I once, it, it was a young adult movie. You, you know those ones where, like, they had a vampire and a werewolf once and they were in love, oh, yeah. and ever since I'm then... I'm familiar with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the concept, yeah. They're like, <laughs> who can we get to fall in love? And, and one of these movies, and it wasn't that success... And I'm not going to name names. <laughs> But um, one of those I wrote about, this really, do, it doesn't work. You know, the chemistry's all wrong, it's terrible. I don't, you know, the, it tries to do this and it ends up doing this. And I got a whole heap of hate mail from like the, <laughs> the young adults. You get this the diehard fans. Yeah. That, yeah, this is kind of like um, the Roger Ebert, Ebert guy, he did the film review. I can't remember the film, but he said, I hated this movie. Hate it, hate it, hate this movie. And that became a famous quote, which I just loved. <laughs> I'll have to show it to you one time. But I want to know, so far, into 2016, what's the best and worst films that you've seen? The best 
So the best oh. film and the worst film. Oh my gosh, um, putting me on the spot. It's it was hard. It's uh, there's it's hard to go past because there's so much superhero nonsense going on. There is there at is. the moment. Marvel's yeah. been releasing them like there's no it's no one's business. Yeah, <laughs> and they they seem to be knowing what they're doing. Yeah. Like I'd trust them oh, if they yeah. were to say, yeah. Anthony, we'll release your movie for you. I'd say, Marvel, you go right ahead. <laughs> Um, so I definitely Civil War was a high point. Yeah. And, like and depending on who you talk to, Batman v Superman was kind of a, you know, maybe maybe a less than high point, but a really interesting... I've had, yeah, a bit of a hiss and hit and miss. That was. Yeah. Well, some people love it, some people really don't. And so that really yeah. splits people down the middle. So yeah, that's, that's your films for this year. I want to know, and I know this is like picking up children, without thinking, name me your top best, your top favourite films of all time? Oh no, I can't do that, Jake. Well, they, even just one. Oh, you might as well just ask me to strip naked in front of everyone. Well, we can do that too. Uh, okay, <laughs> that'll be next, after the break. After the break. That's, um, for, the, uh, that's for, the, um, that, for the viewers, that's for the late night version, okay? You know a movie that I really enjoy is the Tom Cruise uh, Minority Report. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a it, it, it's Steven Spielberg and Tom Cruise and they're coming together and they're doing this story that it's, it's in the future. You, you, you're familiar with it because they've made a TV show now. Yeah. So, and, and that was one of those movies coming in that I said, I hope that they don't do like anything gross with eyes. Because yeah. I think the movie poster is like an eye. Yeah, it is with a bandage over it. Yeah. But I went in and they did and I liked the movie anyway. It was good. Although I didn't like War of the Worlds. A few years oh, later. yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of ruined that partnership together. <laughs> but you know, yeah, there's, yeah. Well, there's great films, and I want to know this too, because you're so good at film reviews and critiquing. Could you tell if a film would be good or successful if you saw the script beforehand? I think uh, the, in the one word. In yeah. one word. In like one yes word. Or no. Like if you saw the script for the new Batman film, yeah. would you know oh. if that would work or not? Would you? One word so hard. One word. Yes or no? Ah, uh, no. No. Ooh, interesting. No. All right, well, stay with us, Anthony. Uh, we've got a break at the moment, but we'll come back. We've got a couple of games for you. I, um, let me add them. Offbeat after this.